Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I made it safely, guys. I went to the store, uh, got a few things, and now I'm ready to cook breakfast. So come on in. I'm just waiting for you guys. Come on, let's do this breakfast thing. Hey, I already got my sausages already in the stove. So uh, what I did was took a long turkey sausage, cut it up in like nine pieces, got it in the stove now for the last 15 minutes. And let's see how it's going. Come on. It's time to eat, y'all. Let's get it going. See, you guys can see I already have cut up my sausages, my turkey sausages. Mm, smelling so good. It's been in the stove now on a high um a high a high heat of about 375 the last 15 minutes y'all it's time to get this breakfast going because i am hungry and y'all want to look at the snow again hey i made it back safely made it back safely and now the snow is beginning to melt and now y'all remember the last live stream i did and i showed you the snow well look at it now wow the snow is melting real quick ain't it Hope we don't take 20 more years with snow again here in the Carolinas again. But anyway, y'all. Hey, I'm hungry. Y'all is already uh oh my god, 12 15. So this is not just breakfast. It's gonna call this thing Saturday brunch, okay? So already, guys, I got my sausage in. The next thing I'm gonna do now is uh, go ahead and cook me some cheese and eggs, toast grits, and pancakes. Yeah, I am so hungry. I already got my coffee on deck, y'all. It's already percolating. It smells so good yet in this folders. If I get down to folders, y'all. Now, I already already had a guest who's here ready to eat breakfast. Y'all know what it is. Cheesy breezy, right? Can't get rid of but when I cook, he just keep coming on. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, let's get to this breakfast thing. Thanks, guys, for the one thumbs up. I probably know who that is. Mad Max in the house. He's at work. He's a great supporter. You know, um, he's been with me for a while, y'all. And, y'all, I, I, I cut the heat off, and I just up on the windows, and it's getting so warm here naturally. Boy, but it's 20 degrees outside, and the wind is blowing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm so hungry, y'all. But anyway, guys, I got the sausage going on. What I'm going to do right now is just to catch up with breakfast and the sausage so we come out at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove when I need to change clothes because this 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 um <laughs> this uh, robe of mine is a wool I got it from Korea about 10 years ago, and it just gets so warm. So what I'm going to do right now is turn the heat down a little bit. And guys, uh, please, I'm going to pre-menopause. So I have got to go get the fan. No matter how cold it is outside, the sister girl is still hot. Be right back. Jesus. I'm live. I'm live cooking breakfast. Yes, I'm live, guys. I'm live cooking brunch breakfast. We call it the brunch. Uh, right now, as I start the fan, y'all, I know y'all like. Oh my God, it's 23 years in North Carolina. This child got on the fan. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies, 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 if you go to pre menopause, you know what I'm talking about. No matter how cold it's outside, you got to have a fan, y'all. I tell you, I was burning up. And I'm all right now, though. Got that fan going on. Please believe me, guys. Don't ask what pre menopause is. You wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want it. So, but anyway, getting back to breakfast, y'all. Thank you, God, for the cool air. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. What I'm going to do now, guys, is go ahead and get my. Spatulas out. I got my sausage down on 325 for another additional 15 minutes. So I've already been in the stove for 30 minutes. So right now I'm going to get my spatula. I'm going to get a my grit pan. And I'm going to debate am I going to do toast, cheese and toast, or pancakes? I think I'm going to do cheese toast. Yes. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and get, guys. Um, it's going to be a southern, quick southern breakfast because I am starving. Like I said, I already got my sausages already in. Uh, in the stove baking. I like the baked food because, guys, I'm supposed to be on a diet. What's going on? Got people up in Alberta selling. What's going on, honey? Just trying to cook the, the morning brunch. And I know that I'm in it myself. I know, right? <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. Send me some cool air, right? And I got enough outside, but I need some in this kitchen. Oh, Jesus. What I'm going to do next, guys, I'm going to get my eggs out. Uh, normally I put milk inside my eggs, but y'all yeah, went to the grocery store. There is no milk to be found, honey. No milk, no bread, none of that. So I was able to get a little couple of things, but not what I wanted for normally with my breakfast. So without um, uh, milk, we're just going to do straight eggs. I'll go ahead and place that in there. See? Yeah, I'm going to do four eggs, four eggs, four small eggs. And I'll let you know what kind of eggs it are. Well, actually four large eggs. They don't look large to me. They look like medium size, you know. Sometimes people 
I think they do false solicitation on these uh, products. Make you think you're getting large eggs. That's why you got to look in there and see what you're getting. But me, I was trying to avoid the store and get back home before the snow actually freeze up anymore because it is cold outside. And I'm telling you, we uh, I looked and a lot of people are having accidents because they move moving too fast and black eyes. People you got you got to slow down. You got to slow down. And the reason why I'm so good, I'm a master driver, U.S. Army. You know, guys. You know, we got to train our people. So I learned how to teach myself. I can drive anything that moves, or I can even fly a plane if I wanted to. But getting back to breakfast. Slow down, guys. If it's snowing, that slow down. Black ice is still out there, especially if your temperature down like here in North Carolina, South Carolina, boy, 23 degrees outside. So therefore, in shaded area, there's gonna be this thing called black ice. Now, normally black ice, you don't see it because the snow is on top of it. But you got to slow down. I was going on the road. Even the salt truck is on the back. On, on it's flipped over in the ditch. You know what I'm saying? If this guy who's supposed to be Department of Transportation in the ditch, don't you think that's an indicator that you might want to slow down? Oh my God, we're getting back to breakfast, y'all. But please slow down, guys. I want to see you in another live stream. Just slow down. So what I'm going to do now is going to take my pan. I'm going to put olive oil in it. Just so you can use any oil you want. But me, I love olive oil because it's healthy. Some people like to use margarine. Some people just like to use Pam. Do what you know you like. But I'm going to put like a, um, I say about a half of a tablespoon of oil. I don't want too much. All I want to do is lubricate the sides of my spats because I'm about to cook some cheese and eggs. So what I do, I like to set my fingers and just go around the pan because all that greasy stuff in your eggs is just not healthy for you. And today, I normally take my yellow out my egg white, but today, you know, I'm not trying to go on a diet. I'm hungry. I haven't ate the way I wanted to in almost two weeks. Because guys, I know I'm sick, but I'm not sick anymore. So what I'm going to do is lubricate my pan just like that. You know what I'm saying? And after that, I'm going to put it on the stove. I'm going to put it on a low, a medium, which is a, like a six. Five, six. I don't know what I'm going to put a vinegar for. I'm going to put a little bit more oil because it's not enough for me. Just a little bit more, maybe a half a teaspoon. What you want to do is basically lubricate it and so your eggs can come over the foundation. Foundation, y'all. That's all I want is a foundation. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to get my cheese, cut it up. Yeah, this is called southern cheese eggs. Some guys call it cheese and eggs or cheesy eggs or whatever you want to call it. You know, still the cheese eggs. So what I'm going to do is take a... Uh, I got... Sharp cheddar cheese. Got it from Piggly Wiggly. And y'all, the eggs right here, I'll tell you about, they say they're large eggs, but to me, they look medium. But y'all, yeah, when I get this breakfast, I'm going to sit down and read the chat. I'm just trying to read it because, guys, I am so hungry. And in the meantime, instead of just doing cheese eggs, I think I'm going to add a little bit of a turkey ham. And it's half ham, half turkey. I try not to eat so much pork, but sometimes, guys, when you're hungry, you just hungry. And, you know, I'm going to cut it up in small little pieces of cheese. Uh, probably about, like, mm, about eight little small blocks. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and place it inside of the eggs. And then I'm going to take about two, probably about three. Well, maybe just just not, not too much. I don't like too much to eat my eggs. So what I'm going to do is take this ham turkey, which is a mixture of the two, cut them in small blocks. I like to roll mine, you know, that, that chef way. And putting on the chopping block, guys. You guys can see when I put it in the pan what it looks like. All you want to do is just, you know, cut it in small little pieces to your discretion. You know, no matter how big it is or how small it is, you know, you the cooker, you do that for yourself. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and throw it all in the bowl. And I'm going to mix it up, put all the ingredients back in the uh fridge because I like to keep my kitchen kind of clean as I go. How can you cook in a dirty kitchen? I just can't do it. Some people can't. Me, I just can't do it. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do, you guys can see what I'm about to do. See, I, I put all the ingredients in there. What I'm going to do right now is basically take a fork, stir it up, breaking the yolk, stir it up, and this is what we're going to call an omelet. We're going to call it a cheese, ham cheese turkey omelet. In that case, I was going to go scrum, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in my spatula. I usually have my um, grilled cast iron, guys, but today it's, it's underneath the sink. And I was like, you know what? It's not that I'm not going to like I'm going to cook a big breakfast because we don't have that many people here today. Just just me and someone else. And uh, a little bit more oil in it. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. And what you want to do is put enough where you can form your omelet. You know what I mean? So I think that's good enough for me. And what I'm going to do now, 
just go ahead and pour the ingredients. You guys can see them. I'm just going to pour it in the spatula right here where it can basically form, form uh, a foundation. I don't know if I'm going to scramble it or make it on the roast. And next thing I'm going to go ahead and put my grits on, guys. Now, grits, guys, please believe me. The best way to cook grits, a lot of you guys can't cook grits and rice. Let me show, let me show you the best way to do it. In order to have the, have the perfect grits and the perfect rice, you're going to put water to, have, to your discretion. You're going to cook, you know, for four or five people. You want to put the halfway, but not for much, you know, just about a cup or two cups. Full. So basically what I'm going to do, because I love grits, it's going to be an all-day breakfast day, breakfast in the morning. Because once I cook, I cook, I don't cook no more until the evening time. So I'm going to put like three cups of water in here. Get my butter. Put it on a medium high because... I want my food to catch up with my sausage that's already baking right now. Get butter. And before you put your grits or your rice in the water, make sure that you, you bring your, your boiling water to a boil and that the margin of butter that you put in your rice and grits is melted. That's the secret cooking so it doesn't stick, so it does not, let's say, come out hard. <laughs> I see some of you guys cook grits. I was like, oh, my God. And you wonder why you can't cook grits. You can't make perfect grits of rice in cold water. You got to let it boil first. So for this discretion, guys, I'm going to put like a two tablespoons. You don't know what tablespoons by looking at it. You got one tablespoon, two tablespoons. So I'm putting two tablespoons of butter in my grits. So while that's going, it's going to be a quick breakfast, guys. Nothing big. We're cooking cheese, eggs, grits, and sausage and toast. So I'm going to put that in there. We'll be eating in a few minutes. <laughs> Please believe me. Now, what I'm going to do is bring you guys closer to the stove so you guys can see what's going on. And as this is getting on, I'm going to sit down and read chat. And what I'm going to do now is turn this the trusted coffee pot back on by taking the coffee that I made this morning, putting it back up in there, and rewarming it up. So I just pour it back in this uh, percolator that I have. Oh, my God. First of all, I'm going to turn this sucker off because I hate what's coffee to go blast in my face. You know what I mean, y'all? It's still hot. That steam boy, something else. So I pour it all in there, close it up, and plug it back in, and uh, let it reheat to heat itself. Okay. Turn it on. Oh yeah. Now, and I want it strong this time. So, but this is a Black and Decker uh, cappuccino base coffee, you know, tea maker, you know from walmart paid a good about 45 dollars and it's worth everything that i needed for so but anyway guys i got the wrong eye on so i'm going to bring this pot forward wait till my water comes to a boil and i'll probably take a minute to sit down and talk see but anyway let's check out the sausages guys oh it smells so good it smells so good let's check it out check it out check it out and you guys can see this is country turkey sausage that i got from my local bakery not bakery my local butcher and it looks so good, divine. Yeah, it smells so good. So we're going to give that about five more minutes. And I'm going to put the eggs on uh, medium right now because I'm waiting for this water to boil so I can put the grits in. And I can sit down and read the chat right quick. So we got four thumbs up, two people in the building. Let's see what's going on, y'all. I got my peeps here. So let's read this chat, chat and see what's going on. And Stella, let me tell you, brother Stella, let me tell you something, honey. That doggone video you saw earlier was a Christmas video that I did two weeks ago. She's like, girl, I know you ain't smoking. I'm like, no, I didn't. Now, now, now no smoke here. But uh, <laughs> but I just had to let her know that because uh, I did a couple of videos. I went live once with the snow, and then I did a video. I guess I got about 141 videos from Christmas. I was putting up the Christmas tree, and that was video was two days later, um, two days after Christmas, and I needed to take down the Christmas tree. So anyway, getting back to the chat, we got Alberta up in the house, my girl. She knows she's my girl. She said, hey, girl, I know that I'm in it myself. We were talking about pre-menopause, menopause, ladies. Uh, good to see you up and moving or breathing. I know, right? Thank you, God. And now, uh, guys, I'm going to tell you something. I took my test yesterday. Come on, negative. Ain't God good? Yes, he is. Thank you, guys, for the prayer, because you guys know I was so sick. Oh, my God, that is unreal. She's right, yeah. The large eggs are huge ones. Yeah, and you said I was smaller eggs, right? I told you that false solicitation is something else. And she then, uh, Alberta says, we only had snow for a week at Christmas and a few days after New Year's. Thank God, as I hate snow. Honey, I love snow. Hold on for just a second. I got to turn this thing down. Okay, I'll be right back. 
And guys, my eggs are forming the way I need it to. Sausage smells oh so good. Okay, and now, honey, I've got the stove. See, I always turn the wrong eye on. I don't know why I keep doing that because I'm so used to my other stove. And uh, now, there we go. Now it's on the right one. So I've got a few minutes to talk to you guys before I put the grits on. And, well, I need to clean up my oven, too, because I cut the Christmas cooking. But anyway, I need to clean it out. You know how you cook cakes and you realize, hey, something's stuck in the eye in the stove and the oven. It's time to clean it out. Well, it's my time to clean it out. No, I ain't doing it until next Saturday. So anyway, that's just because my lungs are so weak, guys. But anyway, getting back to the chat. Yeah, the large ones are huge. And then uh, uh, Alberta and Stella says, we only had snow for a week. And Christmas a few days after New Year's, and thank God it's gone. She hates snow, but I love snow, Stella. And moving down, she says, I hope you can taste it today. I hope I can, too, because if not, I'm still going to go down, girl. But that means I am getting well, and I need to eat. And then she said, looks tasty. Oh, and uh, Tip Vicious, what's going on, honey? What's going on? And Alberta and Stella, and Tip, let me do something for you guys. I want to put you guys in blue. I really do. I think you deserve it. I think I made you a moderator anyway. Oh, you are a moderator because you got a blue wrench. YouTube is different because I'm so used to seeing the names in blue and not the wrench. Okay, so with that being said, guys, um, Tiff says, oh, she's got blue. Alberta Stella says, I never tried grits, but have always wanted to try them. Yeah, grits are good, honey. I love grits any day of oatmeal. I hate oatmeal. I guess it's because it's that southern in me that I always liked it. But my daughters, you know, with that northern me, they still put sugar on their grits, and they love cream of wheat. You know what I mean? I just don't like cream. I just like grits. <laughs> it's just me. Preference. I guess I got tired of eating oatmeal so much as a little kid. And she said, I don't drink coffee, but hubby and son do. And I drink coffee, maybe one cup, but more I, I do tea, you know, especially with the menopause thing, guys, because coffee makes me sweat so much. And sometimes I just got to have my first morning joke, but after that, that's it. I used to be a type of person to drink coffee all through the day, but now I can't do so much of it. So I have to make it down to one or two early in the morning. But since it's after lunch, I'm making coffee for for my, my company here, but me, I'm going to be drinking cold water or maybe some orange juice. And uh, Alberta Stella says, uh, yum, and love your butterfly. Thank you, darling. Thank you. My daughter bought it for me Christmas. I know I was having fun with you. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, then he says, um, I don't like being cold or uh, wet where I live. We really have snow at least, hopefully, really, LOL, climate change and all. Honey, I feel you. We was having summer, springtime was so much in December. I just cannot believe there's snow here in January. Thank you. Love cream of wheat. I love cream of wheat, too. I like grits with cheese. So do I, too. I've got to have that. I have got to have grits in my cheese. I love it. Must be a Southern thing. Carolina thing. I don't know. I never drink anything hot as I always burnt my mouth. <laughs> you funny, our brother and Stella. Well, let's get back over to this breakfast thing, y'all. As you can see right now, the water is hotter for my grits. And my eggs are ready to go. So I need to go in. I think I'm going to scrum them up, guys. And I'm also what I'm going to do right now is uh, get the grits ready. Uh, if I have any, I hope I got some. Because I'm going to end up making some rice. Don't I guess what? We don't have no grits. I know I got grits. I'll always keep grits in my car. And guys, I love, I love, I love Jim Dandy. Or I might use some Quaker grits, you know. But, you know, these are the things I grew up on, and I just love them. And here down North, South Carolina, North Carolina, this is what we, that's what we get down with. You know, that Jim Dandy and Jimmy Dean. <laughs> but anyway, I'm putting my grits on. Put about a half a cup, a cup, maybe a cup. And right now it's already boiling, so I'm going to do, normally I have milk to make it, uh, make it smoother. But since I don't have any milk today, guys, I'm just going to have to, play it by heart. I'm going to put a little bit more because I got more water than I do have grits and I want to go ahead and start eating. So I'm going to place that there. Put more grits in it. Oh God, I'm sorry. It's feeling so good there. I am so hungry. Yes. I'm going to go live again, y'all, once I get done cooking because I don't want to be on live and eating in front of you guys. So after I do this, I'm going to get dressed and, and probably about one or two o'clock today. I don't know exactly what time, but we'll go live and we can go live all day, you know, because I, ain't, I can't go anywhere today. And I went somewhere this morning, but once I'm home and I did all my shopping or whatever for the day, I'm home. It is cold outside, so don't let the sun fool you. It is 18, no, 23 degrees with a wind chill of 18 because the wind is blowing. But right now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and place the lid on my grit so it don't be popping all over the place, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cover it up with this. Yes. And I'm going to scramble the eggs up so you guys can see. 
oh, wow, well, you know, I got the wrong wrong pants. So what I got to do, because this one does not have a uh, handle to it, and I don't want to burn myself. So I'm going to take a wet rag, and while I scramble it up, I want to burn myself. I'm just going to scramble up, guys, because I can't flip it yet, because I let it, the foundation stay too long, and the olive oil is sitting on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and make it scramble eggs. And you know, guys, I didn't put any salt in the front of my mouth, but you know what? That's okay, because you no matter when you start cooking, you always put salt in your food later, all right? And don't ever, ever be afraid to season your food, ladies and gentlemen, because that's how you know how good your food tastes. If you don't taste it and season it, then now you know you're going to give it to somebody else. And that's what we call soul food, soul cooking food, because, you know, you put, you make your food taste good. Why would you give somebody something that you don't think is good? You know, that's how we learn how to cook. So don't ever, ever be afraid to learn how to cook. And, and if you got little kids watching me right now, because I know. A lot of you young guys say you're 18 and up, but when you actually go 15, make sure you have an adult in the kitchen with you. Please do, because I don't want you to burn out mom and daddy's kitchen now. They'll be like, who told you how to cook? Carolina Diamond. Does she help you burn my kitchen down? Yes, mama. No, she did not. Because I told you to get an adult, right? So what I'm doing now is stirring it up. And I'm going to place this on a low three because I want it to stay warm, but I still want it to... Get some of that oil out, you know, because I want to come out nice and fresh. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little salt on it. Just to, not too much because your cheese already has salt in it. And when you put too much, you just make it just too much salt. And you don't need that much salt because you guys got high blood pressure and high cholesterol. That is the number one reason, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put some black pepper on it. Yes, there we go. And uh, I'm going to go over here and do the same thing for my grits. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. And you guys, grits don't take that long to cook, probably about 10 minutes at the most, because this is already ready to go, because I had it on such a high six, and this stove really gets really hot. And the type of uh, uh, the type of potware that I have, I get it from Walmart, but it's uh, uh, from the Paula Dean collection, and basically it's a thermal, what it is, thermal feel, and it gets hot more than the average uh, um, potware. And I love it, and I love, I love Paula Dean. She's my girl. I love her. I love her. I love her. She's so sudden. I love her. Southern draw. She's a southern belle to me. Y'all got to sneeze because of that pepper. Excuse me. Here we go again. Oh, Lord. Pepper just makes me sneeze. Always has. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. And then while that's doing, guess what I'm going to add, y'all? We some sharp cheddar cheese in this grits, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to turn it down real low. And right now the, the grits is beginning to, you know, how, how the grits just breathe. And that's what it's doing right now. And right now I'm turning my sausages for another five minutes because they're good and ready to time to eat. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. It smells so good. And in the meantime, guys, while that's going on, I'm going to get two plates out because I do have a guest. And I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And I'm going to get you again about do I have another two hours? Once I'm dressed and I look decent, right? Because I'm still in my night clothes, even though I got back in here because it's cold outside. My boots and my boots were wet and my pants were wet with all the snow. But while that's going on, I'm gonna put my toast on in the on the toaster, guys. So well, I think okay, here we go. <laughs> I was looking for my bread. I was like, oh god, where is the bread? And uh, we didn't have any bread at the grocery store. So you guys see how much light bread I'm getting low in that. But that's okay. That's okay. As long as I have two pieces and make some toast, and we are in the house. I'll go back out later once the snow melt and, you know, go get some more bread because I was just told by a uh, trusted source that we now have bread at the grocery store. So while that's going on, I'm going to take out my sausages and uh, get ready to get these plates ready. And we're going to get ready to eat some breakfast around here. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and place everything on it so it can look uh, kind of professional, even though I'm not a culinary uh, artist or chef artist, but I'm just somebody who just know how to cook. I'm being a mom and a grandma now. <laughs> yes. And I love it. I love being a grandma. I wouldn't trade anything for it. Because it's something else, you know, you grow your daughters and your daughters, your children up, and then they have other siblings. They're like a little mini, mini mixture of you and your your daughters or your kids. And it is so amazing. Because then one thing, a good thing about being a grandparent, you can take the your grandbabies and you get tired of them, give them back to your mom and daddy, right? <laughs> but I love my babies. I, cook my, I, I watch my babies all the time. I love them, both of them. They're Ava and Dean. I got a grandson and a granddaughter, and I love them to death. So right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take my spatula and put a little bit of cheese in eggs. I am sweating, too. I hate sweating when I'm cooking, so y'all got to bear with me because I'm going to go ahead and put these cheese and eggs on to this uh, these plates, and I got to wipe my face, honey. 
But one thing about the sisters, I don't want me sweating while I'm cooking my food. There we go. Put it there. And my toast haven't came up yet, so I got time to put cheese in my grits before it does come up. All right? I'm trying to make it pretty, y'all. Just come make it pretty, I promise you. And at the same time, I like to clean behind my stuff. Toast is up. Yes, it is. Toast is up. And I had, and I basically my toast. I normally put it in the stove. Y'all bear with me while my face. Okay. Now, with that being said, guys, I got my toast over here. Toast behind the exact behind the laptop. You can see it come out nice and brown and pretty. See that? I'm going to place that there. And then I'm going to get my grits. I've got to put cheese in my grits, guys. But, you know, I mean, everybody don't like cheese grits. I put mine individually with some shredded American cheese, which I'm going to do. But right now, for the purpose of this video, because, you know, when you got company over, you let them season your own food, season their own food. So I'm going to put a scoop of grits here on their plate and a little scoop of mine on mine. And oh yeah. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put that away. Put that in the back. All right. I didn't mean to take the lid and put it in the, the dishwasher. I mean dishwater. So what I'm gonna do is rinse that off and put this back because we still have grits for later, just in case somebody wants a second plate or whatever. And then I'll leave the eggs there, wipe down my stove. Now, y'all, for the, the part that I'm waiting on, and that's the turkey sausage coming out. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is basically turn it off, leave it in the stove so it can still stay lukewarm. And then I'll show you the final ingredient. As soon as I find a fork and quit sweating, right? <laughs> Forgive me, y'all. All right. Oh, boy, you guys who got menopause on, I'm praying with you. Pray for each other, honey. Because the struggle is real, women. The struggle is real. If y'all ladies don't think y'all ain't going to hit it, please believe me. Yes, you will. Menopause can start as early as 20 years before you start going on the actual menopause. And when does it end? I don't know. It's a song that never ends, you ask me. But uh, my mother once told me, she said, uh, hers didn't take that long because, you know, she basically had us. She didn't have a C-section or anything, so... When she went through it, she did it for two years, and that was it. Some women have been known to go through menopause until they're 80 years old. Can you believe that? Lord, if it be like that, y'all got to pray for me because I don't know if I can handle it. I guess I better have ice with me for ice age, right? <laughs> but anyway, we turn the stoves off, and you guys can see the final product. I'm getting the utensils out. And uh, here we go. I'm getting the utensils out for the company, and we're going to see how beautiful this is. You guys see it and okay i'm trying to make it cute y'all if i had me some parsley it's so pretty but i don't have any parsley y'all but this is the final product we got my toast my turkey sausage my grits my cheese and eggs see that and then the person you know the people who's going to eat with me today are going to put their own grits their own butter and all that but, guys, I'm going to read the rest of the chat, and I'm going to let you guys go so I can eat my bread because I am oh so hungry, right? But let's see what's going on in here. Um, Anita says, God bless you, and sup, you sound better. That's good. Yes, I am, Uncle Butler Barnes. What's up going on, baby? Much love to you. I saw you yesterday in AAP's chat, man. We was, like, having a good time up in there, and I am sweating, y'all. So, huh, the struggle is real, honey. Heck, I'm, I'm living with ice packs. On either side of my head, I know that's right. I need some now. Y'all better send me some of that cold wind. You feel me? Because even if at this uh heat, this uh fan ain't helping a sister. <laughs> I took care of see, I take care of season one lady was still in menopause at 86. God bless the child. Lord have mercy. She better get some of that HRT, that hormone replacement therapy. You know what I'm saying? I got a girlfriend, a friend that was in the military. We're best friends, you know. She's a uh we've been went to college and you know we we grew up together, and we're still friends to this day. She told me she got HRT, and she feel like a new woman. I said, honey, this thing called, it's called cancer. She said, honey, school cancer. She said, I'm going to get cancer. I'm going to get it while I'm happy. And you know what? She living her best life. <laughs> but me, I think I'd rather, you know, just try the, the black tea and all those other things. Because when you talk about cancer, we're talking about something we don't want to have, ladies. So we, But you got to do what's best for you. Yummy, yummy. Enjoy your breakfast. What up, Uncle Butler Buns? Awesome. Hey, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. And now, brother and Stella says, hon, go eat your breakfast. 
while the hot and sunny. Yes, right. Let me eat, y'all. And I'll be back with y'all in two hours. Much love, y'all. Peace. What? Yeah. We said, yeah, we were rocking. Yes, we was, Uncle Bun Butler Buns. You know it. Yeah. It Make us make up mom and son. What's going on, baby? How y'all doing? And y'all, guess what? Katie Robert just hit me on TikTok. Miss Wonderful. But yeah, I got much more to tell y'all. Let me eat this breakfast. I'm gonna come back at y'all, y'all. Much love, y'all. Two hours, y'all. Peace. Y'all have a good one. Y'all better stay warm and eat breakfast with me virtually. Much love, y'all. Much love. Peace.